Hi, Biatch. Hello, Elizabeth. Awesome. It's zoomed in. There we go. Cheers. So we're in Canberra um, and we are coaching today at the Matty Ticker Powerlifting Competition. I've got the privilege of coaching Liz Craven. If you don't know who she is, she's Australia's best raw lifter with a Wilkes of 534. Today I'm going to give you a bit of an insight into what, it, what goes into coaching uh, someone of Liz's caliber. Now it's only a local level competition, so there's not you know real big stakes on the line. It's not like a national championships or a world championships. Um, you know, but she does want to put up the best performance that she can. So. Um, hopefully you can take a little, little bit um, out of this video and learn something, um, otherwise, cool. This is called vlogging. Hey bro, what's up? This is a warm up room, holy shit. How are you feeling? <laughs> you feeling strong, Liz? Feels strong. What did you weigh in this morning? Um, 55.7. Okay, cool. So you're under 57s? Yeah. Even under 56? Under 56. I am Shay Zuru and we are at the Strength Syndicate Canberra for the Maddie Ticket Powerlifting Challenge. Who else is refereeing with you? Rowan, Greta, John, and... Oh, I really like the warm-up space. Thank you. It's probably the best warm-up room in Australia. Mm. That is a very yeah. sad thing. Yeah, it is. It's fucking good. Yeah. Wait in. Feeling good? What have you got? Show the people what you're eating. It's delicious, mate. So this is the first thing you eat after weigh in? Every time. What is it? Um, protein powder, oats. So oats for carbs? So? Oats for carbs. Oats for carbs, honey, peanut butter, and then I immediately, in a sec, I'll have um, gastrolite with four tablets and scallop. And a banana. Four. Here we go. Is that right? Yeah, three. I'm always on three. Just on the strap. If your too high, too low, you yeah, like for squat, 10 kilo jump, 7.5 kilo jump, and then bench, 5 kilo jump, 2.5 kilo jump, makes sense, and then deadlift 12.5, 10. Then goes in like nice, consistent jumps. I need to go from 75 and the last one up, it'll be 72. Oh, yeah. I'd rather go to 75. Yeah, 5 kilo jump again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So we're in the warm up room. Uh, as you'd see, the warm up room is crazy. There's four Alico racks here. Um, it's a little bit crowded, but it's a very, very high quality warm up room. So, four Alico racks. The platform rack is an Alico rack also. So, very, very good conditions to be warming up in. Liz is weighed in at 55.7, as you would have seen. Um, so, her weight's really good. She's just currently eating and refitting now. She's going to start warming up in about 20 minutes. She's feeling really relaxed, which is really good for her because she often gets really nervous. So, even a lifter of her caliber gets quite nervous before these types of competitions. Um, but I guess it is a lower level, like local style competition, so less pressure to perform. Although, being the high level athlete that she is, she does want to perform really well because you know, that's just how she is. So, um, yeah, warm ups will start pretty soon. But look at my outfit. Right, what are you doing other than dancing? I'm stretching out my ankles. Um, my ankles get really tight from um, squatting in flats, and my calves are always getting really tight, so then I find it hard to push my knees forward. I stretch the front of the shin, and then I will uh, put my shoe on and stretch my ankle on this bit. Why? My calves are always really tight, but don't be jealous because I have massive calves. <laughs> <laughs> Kieran, <laughs> you're supposed got, to be a professional. That's how I got pregnant last time. <laughs> She's doing a small She's sports massage, increased blood flow to her hamstrings and calves. Yeah, just general warm up. They're real. It's just, nice. It's Napoleon. Feels good, hey? Yeah. Alright, Liz, can you squat the bar, please? Yes. Oh, 
Okay, so Liz has just started, warm started warming up. Her warm up is going to go 60 for 5, 80 for 3, 100 for 2, 120 for 1, 135 for 1, and then opener is 145. So 10 kilo jump from last warm up to, to opener. Um, you know, last warm up will probably happen about 8 minutes before her opener. So, uh, pretty standard warm up routine, 5 warm ups before the opening attempt, and yeah, it should be good. So, you're just doing some activation now, some dead bugs for her core. You've seen a little bit of her uh, mobility already, so she's out, she's looking really good. Alright. Just make sure that you stand up right here. Yeah? Sometimes it can be a little bit hard. At the, at the start of the start. Yeah. I know it's light, but just keep it back here. Yeah, yeah. Um, Okay, so it's always important to find out where the lifter is in lifting order. The first group is just all girls, so Liz is actually the last to squat. So that's really important to know for timing warm up. So she's going to do, so lifting starts at 10 a.m. Um, she'll probably do her last warm up at 10 a.m. because her opener will be at about 10.09 or 10.10. She might even do a last warm up one or two lifters deep into the round. So quickly checking where the lifter is in the warm up, uh, in the lifting order, whether they're at the start, middle, or towards the end of the round is really important. So she's towards the end, she does have a little bit of extra time to warm up compared to some other lifters that might be at the start of the round. Liz! Liz! Wait there, wait stop and then hip forward. Squat. There you go. That's balance. Not on your heels, but balance. Your air embrace harder. We'll put some collars on that one, don't worry. Yeah. So remember my last one up to the Yeah, fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold it still and stand straight. Be patient, it's alright. Upright. Uh, that was a really good point. Did you get up? Bigger Straight line. Don't get tough. So she's just done 120, oh sorry, she's just done 100, uh, there's about 12, 11 minutes of lifting stuff, so she'll do 120 in about 6 or 7 minutes, and then 135 her last warm up, about 8 or 9 minutes after that, so really spacing out the warm ups now, the first few warm ups were quick to get warm, but now we're really opening up the rest of the time, making sure she's fresh for every, every warm up set in the opener. Come on, just the one. Weights, weights. Yeah, it was good. You were a lot more composed at the start. The first forms, I know they're light, but sometimes you come out and you just go straight away. That one you just stood there, with the weight stop. Say slow break. Slow break. Okay, slow break. That's right. So the round's just about to start. There's only eight in the round, so this is going to do a last one up right now. Right, we are ready to go. We are ready to go. Please welcome Byron and Lauren for Claire Angel at 45 kilograms. Upright, 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 knees forward, weights. Very good. That was even better than 120. Yeah. If that's anything to go by, it's really worth it. My knees were forward. Yeah, especially out of the hole. You can't shoot your hips back. I'm going to break slow. Yeah. We've got about seven minutes now, eight minutes before you open it. So the warm-ups are good, uh, last warm-up is 135, opener is 145, that'll be no problem. I think we're going to go 3 out of 3 because the warm-ups are really good. Um, she's looking really, really, really strong. She does get jittery in the warm-ups, but today was better than I've ever seen her before, so I'm really confident. Confident, slow control. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm the best ever on wall, this side, 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 this side,
At least four train lines. She has okay. Let's go, come on. Nice and fucking relaxed, open your tent. Easy open your tent. Oh. Yeah, that's it, yep. Position the pelvis, position the ribs. Keep breathing, keep breathing, yep. Yeah. Little steps. Let the bar stop, let the bar be motionless. Wait, wait, let the bar stop. Find your midfoot. Slow break, knees forward. Knees forward, knees forward, knees forward, knees forward, knees forward. weights. Right. Beautiful. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, a little bit. You kind of you kind of come forward at the top, and then when you finish, you're a bit here, and then you recovered and stood up. It's very easy though. Yeah, it was easy. Yeah, 155, that's fine. Come on, Liz, nice and relaxed. Come on. Yeah, no wobbles, no wobbles. Let the bar stop. Be fucking, not just confident, be fucking arrogant. You have to be arrogant. You have to go out there and say, I am literally the best in the world. Come on. This is what you do, this is who you are. Come on, let's go. Come on, head high, head high, you got this. Keep breathing, Liz. Yeah, that's it. Breathe in hard before you stand. Embrace hard. Steady. Find your balance. Let the weight stop. Find your balance. Break slow. Knees forward. Use your legs. Use your legs. Use your legs. Use your legs. All the way up. Way to the top. Way to the top. That's good. How'd that feel? Okay. I think maybe 161. Yeah. So it was good. I would have liked to do 162 and a half, but we'll go 161.0, which is an Oz record. Um, I think she'll get that, but it's funny. I think 162 and a half is just too much. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Just stay here. You just stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Yeah, just stay here. Just stay here. You want to do double breath? You've got plenty of chalk, yeah, that's plenty of it. You don't need any more than that. Put it in your hands. No rush now, come on. Yeah, make sure you're on your midfoot, you're not on your toes when you start, you're not on your heels when you start. Everything's in a straight line with knees forward. Double breath, yeah? Slow break, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not just confident, it's here. Fucking arrogant. That's it. Yes, come on! You are the fucking best, come on. Let's go, come on! Let's go, Liz! Come on, Liz! Come on, Lizzie. Come on, Liz. Nice and tight, like you told me. Come on. And little steps. Wait. Make sure you get your extra breath in, double breath in. Wait. Slow break, knees forward. Knees forward, quickly. Up, 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 up
So I'd like to get 87.5 because I haven't hit that in a very, I haven't even hit 85 in a long time. Hurry, hurry, help, help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the referee how long of a rest there's going to be between squat and bench press. It's usually five minutes, sometimes less, sometimes more. John, how much rest are we going to have between squat and bench? Five minutes strict or just a like, 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 like the platform and go? Or? Ask the meet director. Where's the meet director? Who is the meet director? Where is Shay? Shay, Miss Meet Director, how long are we going to have between squat and bench? We're going to have ten minutes. So a str Okay, I think if there's only two groups you just go. Yeah. So it's usually five minutes. You said ten. Yeah, ten's fine. All right, ten, 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 ten. Okay. It's always good to ask because you don't want to miss time the warm ups in the into the bench and the deadlift. So ten minute break. Ten minute break between squat and bench. So Lizzie just told me that she's feeling a little bit flustered. Her belly's a little bit sore. I just told her, lie down on the ground. You can see her behind me. Lie down on the ground. Put your feet up. Just relax. Breathe deep breaths. Uh, press your lower back into the floor and just relax for the next five minutes before she starts warming up for bench. They're having a 10 minute break between squats and bench, so plenty of time before warm season start actually. Um, so I'm just gonna encourage her to relax, you know. Even top level lifter and a local comp can get a little bit flustered. It's a really crowded warm up room, so you know, little tactics like this and techniques like this can help a lifter just relax, get in her own world. You can see she's got her headphones on there behind me. Um, and she's just lying on the ground, feet up, long slow breaths before she starts ramping up the nervous system again for bench press. Huh? Let's do the bar one more time, maybe like close grip as well, just to kind of get the shoulders in. And like, just bang him out. Cool. Woo! Thanks, yeah, where'd you get them? What a legend. Yeah, I have both, or just one? Oh, Alright, Lizzie, let's go again. Hold it there. Start. Push. Hold it. Start. Press. Yeah, that's it. Put the weight start. They just feel crampy. Crampy. Uh, like, uh, like fatigued or sore? Like fatigued. Don't stress though, we'll just see what happens. Yeah. Our goal is just to get as many reps as possible. It doesn't matter what the total is, it's how many. Yeah, just make what you, you can build. Yeah, yeah. So because Liz missed her third squat, her best total was built off a 160 and a half squat or 160 kilo squat. So missing that squat made it really hard to go for a PB total. So now she's actually really relaxed and we're just happy to take the best lifts that we can in each of the next two lifts. So obviously bench dead. Um, a lot of pressure's off for her. The internalized pressure she's put on herself is now gone because she's not trying to build up for like some big performance and she can just get on with the day. So looking forward to seeing how the bench and deadlift go. I just have to um like I have to just dump myself even if I get all my squats like I'm I always come down. Do you know what I mean? It's such an adrenaline lift for me. Okay, yeah. That I have to um that's a good idea to lie down for lie a bit. Down what was wrong with Liz's uh, third squat? They buried her. It was too heavy. It was ten thousand pounds. All right, Liz, let's warm up. Why am I such an idiot? It's called genetics. <laughs> Please, let's go. Oh, Robert, me. give me the you signals. Can, you can meet my mum. Lizzie, we'll talk, we'll talk you back. Can I give her a lift off? I'll give you the signals, Liz. Come on. Yeah, and make sure this comes up to the bar as it comes down. Out, out, out. Wait there. Let the weight stop. Hold it there. Wait. Wait. Stop. Press. Wait. Crack. Very good. That was better than the 67. Yeah. Good. Yes.
Yeah. Yeah. Remember, nice and vertical, and your belly meets the bar. That's what I'm going to tell you. Belly meets the bar, belly to bar. Yeah. Alright, come on, nice and vertical. Let's go. Come on, Liz. Vertical, everything's in a straight line. Over belly, that's always stop. Yeah, it's quite a big lift. Take your time, Liz. Gentle, out, 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 out. Wait, let the bar stop. Let the bar stop. There it is. Wait there, Liz. Stop. Belly to bar. Press. Press back. Wait. Yeah. That was really good. That was good. That was really good. Yeah, it looks strong. 85. Take your time, Liz. Plenty of time. You're still gonna load the fucking reds on the bar. Are you happy counting down the lift off? Three, two, one yourself. Should I do it? You did it before, do you want me to do it? If you want. Yeah, I'll do it on this one. I know, I, know, I can watch you lift it. Let's go, come on. Come on, come on. Let's go, come on, you're on. Same again. Finger and puzzle in. Yeah, nice and out. I'll count three, two, one. Yeah, so it's out, split the weight spot. Come on, Liz. Take your time. Three, two, one. Out. Slowly. Wait. There. Yeah, slowly. Hold it there, Lizzie. Stop. Chest the bar. Chest the bar. Press. Press back. Press back. Press back. And wait. Right. Easy. That was really good. Yep. That was really, really strong. Yeah. 87. No, no issues. That was a good second attempt. I mean, chicks bench. She's not going to try 90. So it's 87. There's really no other option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liz. Yeah, that was so good. That was better. You can tell she's a lot more relaxed because she's actually watching the lifter before and helping out a bit more. In the squats, she was in her own world. When you're in position, just say yep, and I'll say three, two, one, and then you both get together. A little bit of big talk with the hands. Yeah. That's it, head nods. You got plenty. Let's go, Lizzie. Come on. Come on, Liz. Come on, Liz. Come on, Liz. Come on, Liz. Come on, Lizzie. Yeah. Yeah, right spot. Yeah, the right spot. Yeah, pressure high on the traps. Yes, yeah, Steve. Take your time, Lizzie. Three, two, one. Out over the belly, over the belly, out, out. Hold it there. Wait, 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 wait. Yep. Stop. Belly to bar, belly to bar. Press. Press it back, press it back. Come on, Lizzie. Press it out. Press it out. Hold it top, hold it top. Uneven. Yeah. It could be huh? the shoulders real tough. Yeah, that was really, really good. Good grind, wasn't it? You were like almost too far down the bench. The lift off was a lot yeah, bigger than the ones before it, and it was really wobbly. But it was good. Yeah, really, really good. All right, five out of six. Let's keep doing that. Didn't fuck it up. Thank fuck. All righty, bench is done. Liz went three out of three, so equal PB on the bench with 87 and a half. She's just chilling out behind me. Really no issues on the bench. The third one, she probably set up a little bit too like far down the bench so the lift off was really big came out was really wobbly but once it settled it was fine it was a little bit slow but you know like i said before bench is a bit of a funny one with chicks so 85 is good and then 90 is too much there's only one option 87 she got it so she's happy that's the biggest bench she's managed this year uh, the last time she did 87 and a half was december of last year so on to deadlifts now her legs are a little bit fatigued we might have to drop the opener two and a half so instead of 167 maybe a little bit lighter but we'll see how we go I feel good. Yeah, happy with I am. And that's um, a PB grind for me. PB I, grind. I never ever get a bench that I'm grinding, but I, I just went like this, and then when it got hard, I went like that. It felt like one side was heavier than the other. Okay. Just but I, I didn't want to check. <laughs> um, rest for 10 minutes, then you're done. Stretch glutes. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Keep a big eye on the, the legs. <laughs> Better when you do that. Uh, Just relax. If you scoot, <laughs> 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 Okay. Three reds, 
Come on, convince me. All the way through. Wait, down. Come on, Lizzie. Make sure it's explosive and the lockout's all the way through, not short. Come on. And wedge your hips forward hard. Come on. All the way through, shoulders back. Down. Good. A little bit forward. Don't give me too many words, though. Keep it simple, it's everything. So, I can hear them all today. I'm not very focused. Yeah, you know Short. Yeah, midfoot, press to the feet. Walk out all the way, all the way. Down. That was better. Yeah, that was better than the one before. She's a fool. A Come on, Lizzie. This is what she did. Seal the deal. Come on. Four, first female lift up. Oh, I'm going to go for it. Press to your feet. Press to your legs. All the way through, all the way through, all the way through. Yeah. What do you think? What happened? It looks a bit like it. looks a bit like it. It wasn't as good as the last one. 7-7, seven, seven, yeah, I was a 7-7, seven, seven, yeah. Thank you. Got to make the call on the fly. Initial plan was 180, but 177 it is. And lots of intensity. Yeah, you've got to be aggressive, you know. It's fucking deadlifts, it's not fucking stamp collecting, it's deadlift, you've got to rip it hard. Go on, you got chalk in the hands? You good? Come on. Come on, let's go, Liz, come on! Let's go, come on! Come on, Lizzie. Legs, legs, legs. Come on. Pull right on those legs. Rub your legs. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Keep going, keep going. All the way, all the way, all the way. Hold it. Down. Ah, much better. That was better. Yeah, that was better. Yeah, that was good. That was, uh, that was much better. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. Why 7.5 is the deadlift? In the women, in the 57 open. 57 open, yeah. Yeah. 188.0, thanks. That's for Liz. Well, so we're going for the Australian record on the deadlift. Uh, Amy, then Liz. Australian record in the uh, deadlift. That'll be a 430 and a half total, so a, bit, a, little bit, a little bit under a vest. Yeah, nice and tense, but don't, over, don't overdo it. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Come on. But just like that last lift, make sure your hips are under and using your legs the whole time. So we're just brushing the bar down now. And when you go out there, you also settle, not rush, because that's what you fucking did wrong in a squat. Not rush, but intense. Come on, let's go, Lizzie, come on! Execute! Take your time, you've got a whole minute. Keep breathing with it, keep breathing. And execute when you're ready, in your time. So you're happy? You got your last deadlift? I'm happy. Um, 188, Australian record. 188. So that's the best deadlift you've ever done in comp, other than the deadlift pro? Yes, and it's definitely the best I've done at this weight. Okay. It's under 56. I quite like. I'm now going to go pee in front of people. Okay, because you're natty. Because <laughs> so. I'm natty. <laughs> So that's lifting done. Uh, Liz went 8 out of 9, so the only lift she missed was her third attempt squat. 
Uh, really, after the 155 kilo squat, I actually would have preferred to take 160. But, um, I mean, her, she has a record at 160 and a half. The rationale is, what's an extra kilo going to do? And, I mean, she's not, like, defending a uh, placing or at a world or anything like that. So, let's just have a go at the record. Turned out to be the case that it was just a little bit too heavy. So, ended on 155. Went three out of three on the bench press, so she managed a uh, equal personal best on the bench with 87 and a half. It's the most she's done this year. And her deadlift was a personal best in a three lift comp. So 188.0, which is a new Australian record in the uh, 50 in the 57 kilo class. So she only weighed 55.7. So yeah, she's just doing a drug test. This is Rowan. She's just uh, done a drug test and she's gonna have she's over there. And uh, she didn't have enough urine, so she's gonna have to go again. But Overall, I hope you kind of took something out of this, uh, you know, video, this kind of montage. You know, Liz is a really high-level lifter, but she succumbs to the same anxiety, nerves, technical errors that many intermediate lifters make. She does need someone to be there to talk her through the lifts, to calm her. Liz and I have a really good relationship, and she trusts me completely. I tell her what to do, and she just does it. She's almost like a robot. I know that Liz has a, a bit of an ego in a good way. She's very confident with who she is. She knows what she's doing and she doesn't like being told what to do. But for some reason, she listens to what I have to say. If I say, this is the warm-up we're gonna do, she agrees. If we're gonna do uh, this uh, exercise, she agrees. She's a uh, very agreeable, very uh, you know, good lifter to coach and handle, and we have a really good relationship. I think this is the, I think the third comp that we've done in the last year, and she's only missed a one lift since. So nine out of nine, nine out of nine, and today eight out of nine. So really good performance by her again. She's really happy with the performance considering the lack of training she's had in the last four weeks, she only competed four weeks ago. So, great performance for her now. She's focusing on the World Powerlifting Worlds, which will occur in October this year. So, again, hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, take something out of it. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, Maddie. Show me. Maddie ticket challenge, first place. <laughs> Elizabeth Craven. A lightning rich open worth $1,775. My God, can you? Do you want to see it? Best male lifter, Cameron McKenzie. I have the jewel. Pretty cool. What do you think of Liz's performance? Pathetic, terrible, shocking, grossly overweight, obese. <laughs> and Aside so from that, it wasn't bad. 